Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Redux, playing as the French state. Now they join. What do you freaking know? Okay, the second I was about to say we're gonna have to do some weird naval invasion stuff, what happens? And the Netherlands decides to join of their own accord. Perfect, just in time to lose all my planning bonuses. God, I hate you guys sometimes. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. So World War I began whether I like it or not. I didn't protect Serbia, but it didn't matter apparently, because Italy decided they wanted to get involved and try to take a piece of the superior French state. Yeah, for all the good that's gonna do you guys. All right, so my fleets are moving around and getting prepared for a lot of fun stuff. We could go for some war propaganda efforts, and I mean, getting a little bit of extra weekly war support is nice, but not necessary. I will do war bonds uh, and start basically just spending some of my political power in order to get consumer goods. We'll also swap over to a total mobilization focus, I think. Which is gonna be great for my economy. I think it will also lead to the option to have women in the workforce. There we go. Lose a bit of stability, but fix that whole like recruitable population thing. And now we're gonna have a lot more power as far as my civilian factories. Look at that, look at that. Only one going to consumer goods all of a sudden. So now we can build things fast. Lots of things getting built all up at once. Uh, I would really like to have, hold up, maybe a little defense down here because it sure as heck looks to me like the Belgians are losing some ground. Okay. Well, let's see how quickly we might be able to push back on these guys. Um, I don't know if it'll be fast enough though, I'm a little concerned. Let's see, looks like we have some pretty decent power. They got a lot of defense, but the Germans haven't had a chance to entrench and get their organization up very high. So we might be able to get something done over here. Let's have some of you guys attack from this direction. What's my air force look like? Not enough to really dominate the skies, but hopefully Britain does send me some help eventually. Looks like a bunch of my balloons might be dying or something. We will try to do some strategic bombing in this area. Don't have a lot of faith in it though. Close air support, I will take whatever I can get. Close air support, take out their logistics and stuff. Any extra strength here will be just fine. Liberia's been called in. The Netherlands calls in the Dutch East Indies. All fine. Yikes, dude. Um, all right. So, I'm, I'm not feeling too worried about my ability to hold over here. I am, however, feeling a lot of discomfort about Belgium's ability to hold over here. So that could be an issue. How strong are the Italians? My general feels, oh. My general feels pretty good about his odds. Uh, and those aren't even offensive units. Okay. What's our def uh, motorized division look like, by the way? It's not very good, so it doesn't save me a whole lot. Uh, I do have some navies set up for some bombardments over here, which is why we're seeing some of these impacts, which is pretty nice. 1915, uh, let's go ahead and grab the extra soft attack for my leg infantry. We might be able to make at least a few pushes here and there, but it won't be very strong. Can you guys assist right here? We'll flank these guys. There we go. Yeah, that's some pretty low defense. Country, blah, blah, blah. Enemy air superiority. Not very strong, though, if I'm honest. Um, this is gonna hurt. Well, we are getting some more doctrines, at least. Uh, naval mission efficiency. Sure, I guess. We'll go ahead and pick that up, leading toward the air superiority, and then eventually the agility. More air superiority, strategic bombing, anything along those lines will be great. Losing a lot of ground over here against uh, the Germans in Belgium, because that's not where I built my forts. How are we doing as far as these fights? We're not... My soft attack should be terrible, but it's just enough to overcome their defense, because it looks like the Italians have very few troops set up over here. So, weirdly enough, yeah, the Italians simply didn't send many defenders, which means we can definitely do something. Franco-Ottoman, good. We could go for infantry tech there. We could also create some free units. Don't care too much. Don't need the army loyalty. Anything else we could do that would make an immediate impact? Um, world breakouts? War support, national mobilization, recovery rate? Maybe. I don't need to get war economy. I've already moved on beyond that. Anti-air, mechanized, break the German lines, tanks. The French miracle. We could go for tanks early, apparently. Um, their options. Anything here that would make a huge difference, though? I mean, if we got really far ahead of time on infantry weapons, I could see that being good. If we got very far ahead of time on uh, support artillery, I could see that being good. Motorized won't be doing a lot of good at this point. 
Armored cars, I mean, maybe. And we don't really... I, I guess I could go for a lot more manpower if I did this. But it doesn't do me a lot of good yet. French air support. The new school... Could go for upgrades to some sh uh, some planes a bit early. No, none of this none of this jumps out at me as something that's really gonna change the game, you know? Uh... Alright, well I do think that mobilization speed, manpower recovery division recovery and stuff could be good for a while. The Ottoman Empire wants to join the Entente! Yes! This brings in the Ottomans, the Judean People's Front, Yemen, Qatar, and Jabal Shamar. Absolutely, we call these guys in. That'll open up a new front against Austria-Hungary, I hope. So maybe forget this for a second. Maybe I change my mind on this. If people are willing to just straight out join things, could we maybe get Greece in on this action? Because I actually could see Greece joining in being helpful, opening up a front line against Austria-Hungary and distracting some of their troops. Maybe. Um, all right. Let's, let's stop attacking for a second. Blue, I'm going to tell you to go because this is where your plannings should get into play. Plan preparation isn't that high, though, but it should be getting me a beat at least a little bit. You guys are all kind of attacking the wrong spot. You should be attacking this together. So these guys are gonna get exhausted. Then you flank them like this. There we go. That's, man, entrenchment and trench warfare is gonna be so unpleasant though. Naval battles, ultimately still going fairly well for me, but we're losing a few ships off in a few directions because we are technically fighting Japan, much as I really don't want to. Looks like we are about done here against the Germans. So we'll finish that up. And then once you guys are all done, set up against Italy. And let's try to finish them off in this direction. We've already cleared all this stuff out, so that should be fine. We'll also need some troops up over here now that I think about it. Oh, lordy. All right, um, you, you, and you. Go ahead and get up over here just to, just to slow them down. If nothing else, slow them down a little bit. I don't know that taking out uh, the Netherlands is going to be as easy as I thought it would be. I'm gonna take two troops, move them here and then move them back. And the reason I'm doing that is to reset their orders. That didn't work. What I'm gonna do then, is I'm still gonna go for the naval invasion order. Because I think that backdooring this is still gonna be the best way to take them out. But this way it's a little bit easier for me to just separate these troops. Which I know is dumb, but it's just what it is. Go. Yes. All right. So that won't take too long to set up. Seven days, and we should have naval superiority. Yeah? Yeah, we do. All right. So maybe we can do a quick little backdoor approach. Maybe. Still hoping to take out at least some troops in a few spots. But we're not getting very far. Okay, I take that back. We got a little bit of something. Let me pin these guys down and exhaust them while I get some reinforcements up here. And get at least a few. And now we're no longer able to take this, okay? Well, let's see what happens in a second. There goes Serbia. All right. And you want to join in on the war. You know, it would have been nice to do that sooner, Belgium slash Flanders. But no, you had to be weird about it. Um, we have a spy agency. I don't recall doing anything about that, but okay. Let's try spying up here in the Netherlands for the moment. And we can activate a naval invasion, so let's do it. Bit risky to lose these two troops. I'm hoping we don't lose them. There are some troops over here, but we have some naval invasion support, and we're going to land an attack from this direction as well. So maybe we can take this out quickly and seize a port. We get some stability. Thank you. Uh, maybe we can take this out. Now I'm looking... It's looking pretty unlikely now, isn't it? Well, there goes some of our troops. Nope, nope, and it's not even just that the Netherlands was prepared, it's that Austria, Hungary, and team decided to jump in on that pretty quickly. Alright, so what I'm hearing then is I need to do some micromanagement. And by some, I mean like a lot. 
So the Ottomans are still in on this. I would like to call you to arms. You are not willing to join on anything. Because whoever this guy is, he doesn't like joining in wars. Right. Okay, cool. So we got you to join in on the faction, but it was pointless. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> and now the Germans are pushing in over here. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. This is not okay. No. Um, it certainly seems to me like maybe, just maybe, Belgium has been a total liability. We're going to try to move our troops over uh, here and see if we can cut off some of these German forces. Somehow I need to get a lot more troops. I need to get a lot more. But I don't see that happening right now. World Breakout, we can do that. I'm trying to train these guys up, but do we get anywhere near enough forces? Nope. Another civil war in Mexico? That's fun. I need to trade for some oil. Hi, US. Could you trade for some oil, please? I need fuel. Thank you. You are not in range to do anything, apparently. The ABC Conference. Albania is gone. Goodbye. So, you don't want to join the faction still. Non-aligned base reluctance. We have a war they may be drawn into. Yeah, I know, but that's kind of why we did this whole, like, befriend uh, Greece thing, was the hope that you would join. Allied bases in Greece, that doesn't do me any good. I'm not confident we can win this in its current state. If the United States would join, we'd have a chance. But they don't like me, because I have a different ideology than them. Maybe my only hope is to take out Italy fast, then. We have to be able to burn through this quickly, or else we're in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I apparently cannot break through any of this worth anything. I mean, at least I'm able to entrench, but the supply is looking pretty abysmal. We bypassed a few things with Algiers. Let me guess. They took it? They did. So we just bypassed that entirely. Well, that's fun. Um... There's nothing we can do with our political power that will make this easier. Britain is helping, but they're not able to do a lot, if I'm honest. Come on, Dark Blue. Get up over here. We're going to try to cross this side of the river and see if we can just cut all of this off. They've got very little supply to work with. They haven't managed to siege a uh, supply hub. So these guys are struggling in a pretty big way. But if we can't if we can't cut this off, then our back door is open to Paris and we are going to lose. I could attack Switzerland, by the way. I haven't forgotten that as an option. I just don't see it as a particularly exciting option. Can you guys go over here, please? Attention. No, you guys keep putting pressure on these guys. Finish them off. I mean, there's no reason to let them live, but... Yeah. So, alright. Let's change your orders. Your orders are now basically to push down to Rome. And as long as Austria sends no assistance down here and Italy is on their own, I think we can win that. Submarines, sure. Better torpedoes as well. And we can go for a land doctrine. Heart attack and organization. This one's completely useless to me, but the next one's great. 10% breakthrough, soft attack, heart attack, and less supply consumption from relentless assault tactic. All of that could be helpful. But we are in just a monumental amount of trouble here. And I cannot get enough freaking guns. I need these extra defensive troops, I really do, but if we don't get more infantry equipment, like, what are we gonna do? I mean, I'm trying to build up more military factories, I am. And we're getting some. But it's not fast enough. Low manpower, you say? Hmm, okay. Well, we don't need political power gain anymore. Is there something else I can do here that will make a big difference? Nope. 
another operative, I suppose. I mean, we don't need political power, so we might as well swap you out. Um, we could go for conscription, but I honestly, it says I'm at low manpower, but I don't really believe it. I think we're all right. I still want all my planes focusing in this area because this is where I plan on attacking in a minute. Uh, however, I seem to be getting pushed back uh, even further. Continue I can't, I can't, oh my god. I can't hold them worth a dang thing. As much as I want to push back on this, I can't. I am unable to push back on any of this. I have to hold the front line. It's kind of my only real option is just to hold while I wait for some sort of an advantage. I think that's the best path. What I would do is swap which armies down here. It's risky. But if I can find a way to quickly siphon all of these troops back down here, we're gonna lose ground up over here for sure. But I'd rather have my defensive troops entrenched up over here against Germany and my offensive troops making a push against Italy, since Italy apparently is very weak. Apparently. So you guys would go up over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. We're losing more stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys to all pull off. Wait, what happened? Oh, did they finally join their front lines? They did. Alright, perfect. Yeah, all of you go over here. Abandon this. Dark blue. You are gonna push all the way down here. This is where I want you to go. So swap the troops. We're going to do some rapid redeployment. Bit risky, but I think it'll work. We got a little time. They're not going to jump on that too much, probably. Uh, 1915 still. Um, reconnaissance, no. Artillery, I mean... I don't see that making a big difference right now. Planes won't make a difference to me right now. There's nothing we can get here. I'm going to start working on construction tech ahead of time. We can go for armored cars, but who cares? Sweden has joined the Central Powers. Sweden, you're supposed to be neutral, bud. All right, here's superiority missions. Here come my troops. All right, so you're going to be building up a planning speed, right? Let's see, plan preparation. Um, I wish it was more obvious exactly what this did. Like, how much it would impact things. Hello, defensive troops. Okay, finally. These are the rest of the defenders that I needed to fill out the rest of my front lines. So we'll be okay there. So we're done training new troops. That's something. Uh, we're okay on oil. Um, I'm really trying to think through what we're going to do here, to be honest. I, I feel like we're in so much trouble. If I can take out Italy, if, then maybe, just maybe, we've got this. Now, I have enough troops that are coming in here. They should be able to entrench and hold this hard. And remember, they still don't have much supply down here. So, like, a lot of these troops are going to be taking tons of attrition. They're going to be draining through their equipment fast. As long as I don't lose any more ground from what I've got there, maybe we'll be okay. You're pretty good. Let's start spying down in Rome, just get a better sense of what I'm working with. Dark blue, I say just go ahead and move. They feel pretty confident in their ability to do this, and honestly, I don't blame them. Italy has left themselves wide, wide open. Bypass stuff in Indochina, let me guess, Japan is taking it? Yep, goodbye. Saw that one coming. Um, alright. So, you guys should all be able to just start pushing, right? Go ahead and take uh, Italy out of Africa. Just knock them out of this completely. Bougie boo. I don't know what that means. Sounds very bougie to me, though. Uh, got more troops here. You know, we might be able to just circle around real quick and cut this one guy off. That's all you got? 
Oh, dude, this guy should not have advanced as far as he did. Attention. We can take this all back. Go. There we go. See? Okay. We'll hold the north. We'll take the south. Now, that does risk eventually drawing a lot more Austri uh, Austrian-Hungarian attention. But weirdly enough, they're not helping Italy. Isn't that weird? They don't care about Italy. Like, at all. Bad allies. Bad allies. Emergency measures. You know, that many boosts for infantry weapons and stuff is pretty good. I'll take it. Yes, yes, I get it. There's a lot of naval battles and stuff that have been fought. Cool, thank you. Hey, Britain, can you send, like, more troops over here and help, please? Thank you. Might help to have a couple of extra forts get built up over here. Just hold this ground a little bit, but I still think we're okay. We got enough defending troops over here, I think we're fine. And our Maginot line's done great. Like, we've lost no ground there. It is purely Belgium that has been the weak link in this. Otherwise, our front line would have been fine. However, we made no progress against the Netherlands, and that makes me feel really bad. We just don't have things like breakthrough. It's not a thing. You can go for infantry expert and stuff. I'd rather go for max entrenchment. That's great for defense. Same thing here, ambusher, great trait to have. We could add it onto everybody. Uh, I would rather give you, let's say, a defensive doctrine. And then you, I'd like to have an offensive doctrine. I'm gonna swap you over to this field marshal and give you some different bonuses instead. So these guys will be defensive as heck. These guys will be a little bit stronger on offense now. There we go. Okay. So lots of defense going on there. I'm looking at the red up here, but that's just because the AI is deciding to do random attacks. I still hold out hope that we will eventually be able to do a coordinated attack around Charleroi and possibly cut off a bunch of Germans, and that would be a pretty substantial gain for me. But we're not there yet. Not by any stretch. Oh, what else we got here? Holding ground, blah, blah, blah. War bonds are still going, blah, blah, blah. Ally with Romania. Uh, if I were democratic, I could do that. I'm not seeing any advantage to being a superior French state. So far, anyway. Britain decided to land in Sweden. That was not, no, why'd you do that? That wasn't smart. All right, this is great. So now we have that extra soft attack and breakthrough and everything else. That just means that we have better defense value when we're attacking, so we take a lot less damage, and we do a lot more damage, and I just improved my artillery, so that's a lot better. Okay, excellent. I didn't read what that said. I probably should have. Mortars? How does that compare? Breakthrough, soft attack, it's very cheap. Don't really see much advantage to that. We could go for howitzers and just try to make it a support company if I had the factories to do it, but I don't think I do. Anti-air? I'll research it, but I don't feel great about it. Yeah, armored cars are a thing we could do. Uh, I need way more factories to feel comfortable with this, though. We still aren't producing enough guns. We're producing enough motorized for once, but yeah. <sighs> All right, pull back on the support equipment. Pull back on some of this. Just cycle this out. 130 guns there per day, 10 artillery per day. We're making some of our planes. We got at least a few spare. I'm gonna send all of you guys down to Italy. We're gonna try to do this. I have managed to split some of their forces. Attention. I only need enough divisions to hold this. Attention. You guys aren't set to aggressive, are you? No. You guys stop attacking Allez, because fighting up in the north was not my goal. Now, these guys should be mostly cut off, but I can see Austria-Hungary is sending some troops down here now. They're starting to feel a little concerned. That said, we can push directly into Rome now. And I don't see any reason not to, aside from the fact that we could instead surround Rome, and technically that might be better. But mm, I'd rather just go ahead and take it and see if we can just knock Rome out of this entirely. Can you go up here to Ancona? Because that surrounds a couple of troops. I know they have a port, but it's not going to be a lot. The limit their supply gain by a fair bit. Uh, can you go this way, actually? Because then you'll get pinned. That way we can just push this out. 
Infantry equipment for a bit more soft attack. Great. I'm getting a lot more air experience all of a sudden. Agility goes up. That'll make my fighters better. We'll be getting some bonuses here in a little bit and some support weapons and stuff for more defense and breakthrough and stuff. This could all be great. I do want to get ahead of time on a lot of things. Ha 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 ha. Um. We don't have use for anything. We really don't. All right. Tell you what, uh, we'll go ahead and start researching upgrades for howitzers on the off chance I decide that I want to just toss that in there. These guys are technically surrounded, so that's a handful of Austria-Hungarian troops that are now going to die. That was actually surprisingly good. Was that like nine divisions I saw there? Feels like it might have been. And we're pushing in here to, once again, surround a couple more. Dude. There we go. I mean, if we can surround these guys, like, we can do a lot. Turns out. We can do a lot of damage if we can surround all of them. All of you get down here. I need the bulk of my army to still push through the rest of the boot. You help here. We'll continue to flank. How's our air superiority? Pretty good. Uh, did we manage to take... We have not managed to take their airport yet. That'll happen in Rome. Which we're currently fighting over. And I think there's a very good chance we end up taking... No, we did take Rome. Oh, we can move here. Never mind. Yeah, let's bring them closer so we have better range on all of my blimps and everything else. So try to keep that strategic bombing and everything else up and running. Okay, so this at least is working. And how are we doing up here? We've not lost any more ground against the Germans. Okay, we've stabilized. We're pushing successfully. Well, we should have been pushing more successfully against the Italians here. Tell you what, see if you can sneak around. Okay. Hi, Gimli. How you doing there? Coming by and checking me out? What's up, bud? Uh, what happened here? I don't know, but a bunch of troops have apparently decided to travel elsewhere. Where? Wait, where did a bunch of my troops go? Thirteen divisions are going here. Well, I don't want that many. What about down here? Four divisions. Um... Attention. Did you guys get into, like, the ports or something? I don't know where some of my troops... Oh, no, they're all up here, aren't they? Right, I don't have a full division over here. Never mind, okay, hang on. I do I do still want you guys to go here. What I want to do is select all of you, split off at least some of you, and tell them to go here. There we go. No, that's... Wrong division. There we go. All right. Send these guys back down here. We'll surround Ethiopia. Okay. I'm making some sloppy mistakes in all this. There's the emergency measures, so we'll be able to go for ahead of time guns. Mechanized efforts for prototype tanks. You know what? Tanks might be the only way this works. I mean, I shouldn't be discouraged, right? The war against uh, Germany, World War I, it was brutal. It took a long time. There's a reason things like tanks started to get developed, because it was so hard to break through entrenchment. The fact that I'm struggling, even with all of my artillery, should not be uh, too surprising. The Netherlands are plotting a new course. You want to join my side? Let's not forget, by the way, if I want to, I could just go kill Spain. Like, at any point. I don't really see a reason to do that, but I totally could. I'm going to tell one of you to abandon that fight. Keep these guys pinned. Go south. Just surround these guys so I don't have to worry about it. Then we can push forward as a stronger front. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, not enough divisions down there. Thank you very much. Hang on, get over here. Start planning on how to take Palermo. We got a new trait on you. Infantry expert for attack. Yes, please. I would like to train some more attacking infantry. I know we don't have a lot of equipment, but... We'll make it a low priority, but if I can find the equipment, let's go ahead and start stacking them up. God, my lack of guns is going to be a problem. But here's the thing. Like, I don't think that I was that far behind in factories and stuff, was I? 
No, 59 and 59, yeah, they're not that far ahead of me as far as, like, military tech. Uh, if, if I'm struggling on equipment, they have to be struggling too. Like, not as much as me, maybe, but, like, they've got to be struggling. I don't think any world power has a ridiculous amount of equipment. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we're. Maybe this looks worse than it is, and we're actually doing fine. You think? I'd like to believe that that's the case. In fact, I choose to believe that it is the case. Ireland declares war on the Kingdom of Ireland. Pardon? You mean Royalist Ireland? Yeah, that's what you mean. I don't know why I read that as Kingdom of Ireland. I was about to be very impressed. I'm like, we've got a king in Ireland? That's amazing! But no. Can you get up over here? Out of curiosity, is this undefended? Because if so, that's a bunch of encircled troops that I can just kill and I can just entrench in the Alps. I don't even know why we pushed further north. I told them not to do that, but here they are. All right, forget this, this still didn't work. Let them let them send more troops over here, I don't mind. And then let's see if we can attack through here. Hang on. One of you pin this down, the other one assist and flank. They have very low organization. If I can break through this, which I think I can. Oh, my agent got captured. That's a surround. Hey! All right. So now all of you can successfully push and that's another 10 divisions killed. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. All right. We're going to end this video here. Progress is being made. Damn these Ottomans, though, for being absolute jerks, joining a faction they have no intent on actually doing anything with. But okay. And maybe I can go for some really far ahead of time tanks and we find out that tanks are actually outstanding in World War I. I'm not going to hold my breath, but it'd be amazing if that were, in fact the case. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.